Singer Lindsay Sutherland Bowl and <coughs> pianist Patty Loach join us this morning. They're going to talk about their holiday cabaret show, Love, Longing and Lunacy. It's taking place tomorrow night at 7.30 at the Green Door Cabaret Room, Lower Ossington Theatre. And we'll tell you a bit more about the details after we talk to them. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, now this was, um, Lindsay, this was your idea, was it not? It was. Uh, when Patty and I learned we'd be doing another show at the Green Door and then it'd be a holiday show, uh, we were thrilled. And so in our sex and sizzle fashion, we didn't want to Mercy. sing... <laughs> we didn't want to sing a bunch of Christmas carols around a Christmas tree. So we sat down and asked ourselves, how do we really feel at Christmas time? And for us, we feel a lot of love, a little bit of longing, and sometimes just a little crazy. Mm -hmm. You feel that way, do you, Pat? Definitely. <laughs> 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 but, Lindsay, was most, was most of the uh, music of your choosing? A lot of it was, I think. Um, I've, I've discovered a few funny Christmas songs that I really wanted to do that I showed Patty and she thought, well, this is great. And of course, Patty <laughs> sprinkled her pixie dust all over it and it's fabulous now. And there's a, a Patty, you did a, an arrangement of some German songs, is that correct? Yes, Lindsay had um, been in Germany and she found a bunch of not very well-known German songs by um, Frida Collender, who wrote Falling in Love Again. And uh, she spent a lot of time in dusty basements and music stores in Germany and found these beautiful pieces mm -hmm. and so brought them back and we've arranged them into a, a a trilogy, a mashup of these three German yeah. songs. Now you did the arrangement, right? Yes, I did. How often do you do arrangements? I, I know the I'm, answers I'm to doing all these questions. <laughs> I'm, doing, uh, I'm, say. I'm <laughs> trying to create an interview here. <laughs> <laughs> I I spend a lot of time arranging actually because I really like a song to be in a perfect register for someone's voice and, and mm -hmm. often a singer will give you a piece of music and say, let's sing this and then I'll look at the p music and it's not great. So mm. yeah, a lot of time. Well, what kinds of things are you singing? Fabulous things. Fabulous. Fabulous, Mike. Thing. Fabulous. We're singing, um, we've got quite a collection of songs, really. Uh, we've got uh, contemporary songs mixed in, of course, with some old school Weimar stuff. Did you want to elaborate more on that, Pat? Well, we're also doing songs from musical theater, like Bill yeah. from Showboat. And um, Lindsay's doing a monologue about the, the 12 thank you letters of Christmas. I mean, imagine <laughs> if you had been given seven geese oh, and yeah, six yeah, swans yeah, yeah. And, and eight maids who come with their cows. Yeah. So these are thank you letters that she writes to her lover for these wonderful gifts. Gifts. That's right. What we all need. Yes. Eight maids milking. Exactly. Mm. And tell us about, you have a great relationship with uh, Ray Jessel. Patty? Ray Jessel, we saw at the Green Door Cabaret a number of years ago. He's about mm -hmm. 85 years old, mm -hmm. I would suppose, and he's written some very, very funny songs. One of them is <laughs> I, I Think About Sex. Mm -hmm. and uh, um, He's just a lovely uh, pianist, singer, and um, I think we're doing two or three. We're yes, you are. The, the, um, I'm All Right Now. Now, mm -hmm. that's, that's a very beautiful song. Mm -hmm. Patty introduced that song to me. I had not oh, heard it before. It's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I went to hear um, Patty and Lindsay at Patty's home do their dress rehearsal, and I was blown away by this show. Um, uh, since most of the choices were yours, Lindsay, mm -hmm. is this, are you, are you telling a story or, you know how in, in cabaret we so often like to have an arc and tell a story. Um, are you telling a story? Is there a... Well, I think, I think so. Um, it's become, it, the show is really a lot about, you know, how I've kind of evolved over the last year. Things are slightly different now than they were a year ago. Quickly, boy. Have wow. Ever. And, um, and so this show is, is a bit of a coming out party, mm -hmm. I guess. And, uh, and I get to do it with Patty and my favorite music at one of my favorite places to sing. So bring on the holidays. Right. <laughs> a kind of a coming out party in what way? Um, well, no, I just touched on a little bit. You know, my life is very different than right. it was a year yes, ago yes. in a very positive mm -hmm. way. And um, so I get to sing about the things I love, uh, the things I dream about, uh, the things I'm ready to let go of. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to what's coming. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I know you love Kurt Vile. You, oh, you speak a, uh, a bit about Kurt Vile. Yeah. There's a, the big chunk at the end of yeah. of it, but there is a parody on one of the... Uh, There's two parodies. Two parodies. Um, one of uh, the parodies... Did you make them up yourself? I didn't know, but oh, okay. um, Ray Jessel uh, did one of them, and it's called The Old Kurt Vile Song. It's hysterical. It's like the combination of 
Bertolt Brecht, Kurt Weill, and Lotte Lenya all rolled up into this one <laughs> ridiculously crazy, crazy thing. And uh, the other one is by Jason Robert Brown, um, parodying Surabaya Johnny. Instead, it's Surabaya Santa. It's fabulous. Ah, ah. <laughs> so for how long have you been rehearsing this? About two or three months, I suppose. Yeah. And, and, Did you have to trim it down a lot? Uh, we didn't do any Christmas trimming on the show particularly. <laughs> but we did, we did trim some of the dialogue, but not the songs, no. Oh, okay. In the show, Patty, what are some of the challenges for you? Well, I think... <laughs> you know, the, the, stylistically... <laughs> not yelling. Stylistically, for me to put... There's a number of different styles in this show. And for me, you know, Richard Azunian gave me... What I'm going to take is a very high compliment. He said, I play in so many different styles, I should be checked out for multiple personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> but the... Certainly the playing in the style of Vial is um, very different from Legato playing for Jerome Kern songs. Mm -hmm. And so th the challenges for me are not only mastering all of these different styles, you do a lot of listening to make sure you've got it right, you mm. play very cleanly, and then also following Lindsay, because I just never know when she's going to go off on a tangent <laughs> and... Uh, be a little bit lunatic. Yeah, but that's part of the fun of a live Absolutely. performance. Absolutely. Of course, and you, you're, you're just right there with her. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, it, we must mention John. John Loach, oh. Patty's husband, uh, will also be playing yes, in this he show. Will. And playing trumpet. Yes, he's, he plays he plays jazz trumpet, and, mm -hmm. and gorgeous. His, his additions are, are really, really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. we're, doing, we're doing a beautiful song at the end of the show that was created, an, an arrangement that was created especially for Lindsay and John and me by Tex Arnold, who's a cabaret pianist in New York City and it's it's beautiful it's a child is born by that Ooh, Jones mm -hmm. and you have a special relationship with Tex I do uh, Tex and I met at the International Cabaret Conference at Yale University where he was my professor um, and over the years that we've known each other we've become friends and we've come, become quite close and he's written many things for me now and many arrangements and I value uh, not only my friendship with him but of course his tremendous contributions to my musical life. Mm -hmm. And it really is something very special when you can have time with the composer. Mm -hmm. He's there and you can talk to him. He, he came up to your home, right, Patty? Mm -hmm. And you spent a lot of time together going over the music. We did, and, and he ran through, he, he suggested the song, actually, mm -hmm. to Lindsay and I, and, and then he just sat down at the piano and played through it a few times in a variety of different styles, and each version was more gorgeous than the last and then about two weeks after he left he sent this arrangement that he had that he'd done for us and I just couldn't I couldn't believe it it's mm -hmm. beautiful and I know Lindsay I mean I could ask you what one of the challenges is for you but I mean the first thing would come up is memory right <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and choosing the songs that are all patter songs they're like oh, 14 pages long and they're through composed and so if you sing one wrong word you're in like Mars right? you know so <laughs> But no, I think I, I, I think I think I think it's in there. I hope. Yeah, I well, and another thing I, I love about this show is is that it really is a wonderful vehicle for you to show off your, all your all your <laughs> vocal chops, your vocal styles. Thank you. Um, I kind of think of it as the cabaret comescolio. <laughs> like, it's like <laughs> fourteen <laughs> octaves for me. It's a huge thing, um, but it's uh, it's it's fun. It's different styles. It's it's great. Well, I know it's going to be a wonderful show, mm -hmm. and I urge you all to get out. It's, it's so much fun. They make you laugh. They do silly things, and you know, this is—it's just the spontaneity and the beauty is the real beauty of it. So, um, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you, Jean. We've thank been you, speaking Mike. with uh, singer Lindsay Sutherland. -Bull.